Let's talk about hydrogen bonding in hydrogen fluoride. So as we talk about hydrogen bonding, there are really kind of two criteria that we need to address here. First is one of the elements needs to have a high degree of electronegativity, and that's going to mean nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. So we do have a fluorine atom here in HF. The second criteria is that element that has the high degree of electronegativity. It needs to have at least one lone pair. So we have our fluorine here. It actually has one, two, three lone pairs. So we would expect there to be hydrogen bonding with HF. So HF is a very polar molecule. If we look at the difference in electronegativity, hydrogen, the white here, that has a value of 2.1, where fluorine over here is very electronegative. So since we have this large difference, we're going to have a polar molecule. Let's take a look at that. So the blue area, that's around the hydrogen, that's going to be more positive. The red, that's the more negative, that's around the fluorine. And that's because the electrons in the bond between that hydrogen and fluorine, they spend more time with the more electronegative element. That's the fluorine. So we end up with a polar molecule where we have the positive around the hydrogen and then the red area, that's around the fluorine. So imagine if you had a group of hydrogen fluoride molecules together. So if we have this hydrogen fluoride molecule here and another one approaches, the two negative sides, the red, they're not going to line up. What's going to happen is the blue, the positive from the hydrogen, that lines up with the red from the fluorine. And when that happens, we form this hydrogen bond between these atoms. If we had a third HF molecule, think about how that would line up for a second. We would expect the negatives, that doesn't work. They would repel. But that positive hydrogen, that would line up there. We'd form our hydrogen bond between atoms. So to recap, we have this big difference in electronegativity between our hydrogen here and our fluorine, our very electronegative fluorine. And we have at least one lone pair. In this case, we have three lone pairs. We're going to have hydrogen bonding between HF molecules. Note that HF could also form hydrogen bonds with other molecules that satisfy this criteria here. This is Dr. B discussing the hydrogen bonding for hydrogen fluoride. Thanks for watching.